Who my Jesus? It's me and I've seen the tree. I'm not, going, I'm not going close to it. My heart literally skipped a bit. So Isema is going to go. I'm just going to watch the bags. that this place feels weirdly alive like as if there's like a spirit here we, we passed one house i think it was called georgeville or georgetown so mm. that kind of had its own its own sound everywhere else beside the house was quiet but once you go past it you just come alive and then yeah you see it's calling it interesting i'm calling it creepy and he's saying, oh, I'll show you on the way home. I'm like, Bruh, miss me with that, please. But yeah, um, we just got to Aburi Botanical Gardens. I was actually vlogging when we were leaving earlier, but I didn't realize that I didn't hit record. So, <laughs> so I, I lost all of that footage, I guess. We're just here to have fun and have a good time. We want to take some pictures now. So we want to drop our bags. You see like this tree is scaring me i just feel like something is alive here i can't just shake off that feeling that this place is alive and like the trees are watching us does that sound creepy but the trees have life now but i guess it never really hits you until you, you they do horse riding for you yeah uh, how much Huh? 10 cities. No, it's five. No, it's ten. This one, we, we know they come here like, you get like this. This one, uh, you, you can do video. Okay, yeah, I want, I want to write, sir. Maybe like uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Uh, How much is it? 10 cities, bro. No, you said 10 cities, bro. Yeah, 10 minutes. It'll be time. No, no, no. I said you go come back in 10 minutes. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll be sure I go write for 10 minutes. Uh, where are you going to meet me? Are they around? They do video for you. So are they around? Okay, okay. I just want to go take picture for that helicopter. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So we are 
are taking a personal tour. We had been told that if we wanted to have a tour guide, we would pay 20 CDs for that. If you ever come here and you want a tour guide, it's 20 Ghanaian CDs. I can hear some people drumming up ahead. I wonder what that is about. Let's go and investigate it, you see. And see what the, what the drumming is about. I think on second thought, we should stay where we are and leave the investigation of the drumming. Because I can see some big cars and it's looking like it's an important event. So, I don't want to walk into what I should not be walking into. Am I ready for what? For the helicopter? Okay. Okay, showing inside here. Are you interested? Well, I can Should take you a picture. Yeah, I would. I'll take you a picture. This and his beloved tree of life. So there's a tree here named the Tree of Life that we're going to go and look at. And to be honest, when I first heard Tree of Life, what came to my mind obviously was Genesis, obviously Revelation. Oh, look at this way. Yeah. As I was saying, anytime I think, anytime I hear Tree of Life, what comes to mind is the book of Genesis, the book of Revelations, where the Tree of Life is spoken about, and the Tree of Life is Jesus Christ. But this particular Tree of Life is called the Tree of Life because it has depictions of what happens in the lives of human beings on it. Yeah, and what I've seen from the pictures. Scary. It's scary, it's creepy. It looks like something they use for rituals or sacrifice. It looks like something that belongs in an Abbey Joye movie. Do you understand? So, where did you see it? Can you just imagine? I feel like we are in an Abbey Joye movie. The fact that you saw it and you can't see it anymore, it has literally shifted position. Guys, I'm not making this up. This place feels alive. I feel like we are being watched. I don't want to be here in the night alone. This is literally going to be like... By the way, I, I don't watch horror movies. Oh my God. <laughs> Where? Oh my Jesus. It's me. I've seen the truth. I'm, I'm not going close to it. I'm not going close to it. I'm not going. Okay, let me go. Okay. You go. My heart literally skipped a bit. Maybe I saw it. Like, I literally froze. So, it's me is going to go. I'm just going to watch the facts. So I can try watching So, so sorry guys, your regular host um, <laughs> isn't able to do this, but this is really amazing. The, the artist carved these images into the tree. It's really nice. So it might look scary, but it's really artistic. So let me go closer, so see. So these are like wood carvings right into the tree trunk and all of it so you have animals and you have you know, it's really interesting
Oh. Is it, please be careful. Hey, oh, my goodness. No, oh. it's that this trouser is not around. So, so what should I do? <laughs> <laughs> This is how his meme has just ridden off and left me behind. Baby, you're just riding off. You're not even looking back to see where is my wife. <laughs> oh my goodness, the horse is angry. Me. No, it looked at me straight. Don't do anything. Oh wow. <laughs> Hi, horsey. Good boy, good boy. I'm so sorry for touching you. The sides. Use your leg to kick the sides of the hood. Just kick, kick. Go on and kick. Can you stare him? If you walk out for fun, they will follow you. They will kill you. Yeah, okay. Huh? Hey. Oh my goodness, please. I only have one husband, please. <laughs> Nobody should. Hey, see that tree of life behind you. Oh my goodness. So tell her one will reach Now I can see how Absalom's hair got caught in the trees. <laughs> oh my gosh. Have a walk. We want to start riding around Lagos on your horse. We, we left. <laughs> why we left horse riding? Oh, man. I told my day, okay, make a ride. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> the horse literally smells of shit. Yeah, it does. Like following you behind was so hard. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I think Where's we should walk so? through here. Let's let's. Okay, this is the way to the car park. Uh, so should we the, just walk to yeah, the yeah, car park? Yeah. So we are done here, and we are about to head back to Accra now. We are going to go to the mall because we want to watch a movie, grab lunch, you know, and just enjoy ourselves a bit more. But I wanted to just share how, like, when we were coming. I was looking at the hills. I don't know if you guys saw the hills in the, in the footage that I was showing. Then you look at the footage from the hills. Ah, you know, it's funny. Just the other day, Isia and I were actually talking about it, about how there's no camera that is as good as the human eye. Because we were actually looking at this thing, but like the camera wasn't conveying what, what I was seeing. I was seeing so much beauty and there was a song that just started to rise on the inside of me. I'm sure you see heard me singing it, but it's a Yoruba song. So I think it means um, the almighty God who is as old as the hills or who is as ancient as the hills. And just looking at the beauty of it, guys, it was poetic. But yeah, I am so, so happy that I came on this trip. Like just in general, I came to Ghana and I have been able to see all of these beautiful places. I think another thing that coming to Ghana has really done for me is that it has opened my eyes to see just how much more I need to be vocal about my faith for every single person that I see. Like this is somebody that I haven't told about the goodness of God. This is somebody that doesn't know how good God has been to me. And so coming on this trip has just really inspired me to just continue to share the gospel and to pray that God helps the message of my life like showing all the amazing things he has done for me just reach as many people as it can globally so yeah
Don't let this love Don't let this love fade.